to study modifications of root. Let's see some of the modifications of roots. Modifications for food storage Roots are modified in some plants for storing reserve food materials. Examples of some of the modified roots for storage are carrot, radish, turnip and dahlia. These modified roots are usually swollen and take different forms. Let's first look at carrot. Carrot is broad at the base and tapers gradually towards the apex. It resembles a cone and is known as conical root. Radish appears like a spindle that is swollen in the middle and narrow towards both the ends. This type of root is known as fusiform root. In the case of turnip, it is spherical at the base and suddenly tapering towards the apex. It looks like a top and is known as nappiform root. In sweet potato, the adventitious roots become swollen and do not assume any shape and are known as tuberous roots. In dahlia, the adventitious root arises in the stem base and becomes clustered. This type of root is known as fasciculated root. Carrot, radish and turnip are the modifications of the tap root because these roots are developed from the radical. Dahlia and sweet potato are the modifications of adventitious roots because these roots arise from other parts of the plant rather than the radical. Similarly, collect more examples from your surroundings and note down your observations. Modification for mechanical support Some of the plant roots are modified to provide mechanical support. Let's first look at a banyan tree. Have you ever noticed the hanging structure in the banyan tree? These hanging structures are called prop roots. These roots grow vertically downwards from heavy horizontal branches of the banyan tree and give mechanical support to them. Since the prop root is developed from the stem and not from the radical, these roots are modified adventitious roots. Stilt roots of sugarcane and maize are supporting roots which arise from the lower nodes of the stem. These roots grow downwards and penetrate the soil and provide mechanical support to the plant. In beetle and black pepper, the nodes and internodes bear roots which helps in climbing. Modifications for gaseous exchange The plants growing in swamps and saline water have difficulties in getting oxygen for breathing because the availability of oxygen is very less in soil. Have you ever wondered what those peg-like structures are that are found near mangroves? These are known as breathing roots or pneumatophores. Breathing roots found in mangroves help to take oxygen from the atmosphere. It contains numerous pores through which air circulates. Modifications for nitrogen fixation The roots of pea and other leguminous plants bear numerous small and large solen nodules on fine branches of root. The root nodules contain nitrogen-fixing bacteria called rhizobium. The nitrogen that is available in the atmosphere cannot be utilized by the plants directly. The nitrogen-fixing bacteria present in the root nodules help to convert atmospheric nitrogen into the organic compounds of nitrogen which can be easily utilized by plants. This improves the fertility of soil. Modifications for Photosynthesis The aerial roots of Tenospora and submerged roots of Trapa contain chlorophyll and are capable of photosynthesis. This type of root is known as assimilatory roots which increase the photosynthetic area of plants. Modifications for Floating In the Jacia plant, 
a number of adventitious roots arise from each node of the stem. Some of these roots are filled with air and become inflated. These roots project out of water and help the plant to float. Modification for sucking nutrition from host. Cascuta is a parasitic plant which develops fine spine-like roots known as sucking roots. These roots arise from the stem and penetrate into the host plant and absorb nutrients from it. We have now learned some of the modifications of roots. There are even more examples. Find more examples from your surroundings and expand your knowledge.